Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. On this episode of Rust Electricity 101 The Component Guide, we're going to cover the powered water purifier. This beautiful looking reverse osmosis style machine that turns salt water into fresh water and is now available as an update that appeared shortly after the farming 2.0 update. You can see here it's a level 2 item, so you'll find it in locked elite or military crates, or with oil rig or heavy scientists. You can purchase it at the outpost for just 150 scrap, or if you happen to have the blueprint, you can craft one for 5 high quality metal, 15 metal frag, and 20 cloth on your nearest workbench level 2. From an electrical standpoint, this device has just one electrical handle, that is the power in handle. Power in handle will consume five rust watt minutes, five units of power to operate. It will consume power whether or not there is any fluid in it at all. So be aware that it doesn't turn off or stop using power just because you don't have any fluid in there. It will just consume that five units all the time. From a fluid perspective, it has a water in to this uh, salt water tank. It has a water out of the fresh water tank. See here, I have nothing in the salt water. I have uh, 4,000 presently in the fresh water. I'm going to fill up the salt water side manually, but you could do this with a salt water source, such as a water pump or a tank. It only pumps in 12 uh, milliliters per second and only pumps out 12 milliliters per second, which is significantly less than its capacity to process. Watch as I turn this thing on. You will see that the fluid amount updates approximately every five seconds and drops by a little over 360 per five seconds. This device is capable of processing around 4,000 milliliters uh, over the course of a minute. Uh, that it works out to around a little 60 something per second, a little over 60 something per second. For your purposes, since it only updates every five seconds, pretty much have to just plan on that 334 roughly per five seconds that is available to you. Of course, you can't pump it out that fast right now, so that doesn't really help you. It does convert salt water on a 50% uh, basis to fresh water, so 50% of your salt water turns into fresh water. Uh, so 5,000 salt water turns into 2,500 fresh water. And as I am demonstrating here with this tank full at 5,000 milliliters, it'll keep on chugging and use up all that salt water and it just disappears to nowhere. This may be a bug that they'll fix in the future, but right now, if you value your salt water, do not leave this thing running if you don't have a way to empty your fresh water because your fresh water will just go to waste, or I, I should say your salt water will go to waste once this is full. So if you're hauling back your salt water by running out to the coast and bringing it back by hand and you don't want to waste your precious salt water, do not leave this thing running if the freshwater tank is full. Well there you have it. Finally, a brilliant and automated solution that allows us to turn salt water into fresh water. Very helpful both for drinking and for farming purposes. My friends, the powered water purifier.